This video will show how to change a postoperative bandage um, following a routine surgery such as uh, an arthroscopy. The first thing is to gather the materials needed um, and for this particular bandage we're going to need telfa which is this shiny um, sheet of uh, non-adhesive uh, dressing, uh, some cotton cling rolls, some expand over, uh, some cotton sheets and uh, some bed wrap. The bandage has been removed from the previous leg and we can see the incisions with the suture. Um, it's not unusual for the first day or two um, following surgery to uh, have a little bit of uh, blood staining on the leg. Um, however, this should not be an excessive amount and it should subside by the first uh, day or two. Ideally, the operator should wear some gloves um, and the tofa is applied, taking care not to touch with the hands the part of the tofa that is going to come in contact with incision. Following uh, application of the tofa, this is secured in place by use of a cotton roll, also called conform cling. This will allow us to conform the bandage to the shape of the leg in a snug but not too tight manner. This layer will be secured to skin with the use of uh, expand over, which is a uh, permeable and adhesive bandage. In our experience, this works slightly better than bed wrap for this particular layer and uh, we simply cover the uh, surgical area that has been bandaged with one layer of uh, this material. This is the first layer of bandage completed and uh, on top of this uh, we can choose to place uh, sheet cotton uh, and put the outer shell of the bandage like that or we can also use uh, stable wrap, regular uh, bandage. Uh. The cotton sheet is applied uh, snugly and also making sure that you come to the level just slightly below the heels and is well contoured to the shape of the leg. And this sheet cotton is secure in place with the use of a uh, conform cling. For this purpose, uh, usually a 6 inch conform cling works very well. We find that the uh, 4 inch conform cling uh, is uh, not as good as the uh, 6 inch size. And again, we place this bandage under the heels and we come back up with it. Once this is in place, we proceed to place a layer of bed wrap over top, from top to bottom. And it's important that the bandage is uh, snug and uh, fits the contour of the leg very well. We usually uh, stretch the bed wrap to the point that there is no longer any creases left on the bandage material. And uh, the key is to produce uniform pressure rather than areas of uneven pressure that lead to uh, discomfort on the horse and also bulging of the bandages. It is important to go under the heels with this layer as well as this improves the stability of the bandage over the leg. Once the outer shell is finished, to complete the bandage we put a layer at the top and bottom with elastoplast um, and this as illustrated in the in this video and this uh, basically completes the placement of the bandage and this is the final product and on a comfortable horse we usually uh, maintain these bandages in place until the Shooters come out typically two weeks after the surgery. This bandage is changed daily for the first five to seven days 
and then every other day for the following week.